Hello there, amazing viewers and subscribers, and welcome to a brand new, exciting Doctor Who deck collection, the limited edition versus the standard edition. And of course, we are looking at season 22. So, of course, we have the standard release of season 22 and the limited edition release of season 22. Now, this is honestly my... It's in my top 10 favourite seasons of all time for Doctor Who, season 22 is. I absolutely love it. I enjoy all of these stories. I love the dark nature of the Sixth Doctor. I love how his stories are so much darker. And to admittedly, the dark stories do start in season 21 with Peter Davison's Doctor. So I love the fact how we have season, basically, seasons 21, 22, 25 and 26 where things go darker for basically the 5th, 6th and 7th Doctors, which I absolutely love. So here's basically showing you what we get in the limited edition and the standard edition. So of course the artwork is exactly the same. The only thing's different is you do not have the, the Blu-ray banner on the side. So of course this is what it looks like on the side. So it, comparing it side by side, it is a lot smaller than the limited edition is. But on the back, it's just basically the same features. But the only thing that's different is, of course, we have this. And, of course, you've got the fantastic artwork of the TARDIS travelling through the Time Vortex as the cabinet. Where on here, it is actually at the bottom of the set. So, I'm literally going to take this off the actual the Blu-ray limited edition protector. So, I can actually show you the difference between these two. So, we'll literally put that there a minute. So, let's just put that over there. So this is Doctor Who season 22, a.k.a. Colin Baker's first ever season as the Doctor released on Blu-ray. Not his first, it was actually his second release. So his last season, a.k.a. season 23, was the first one to be released on Blu-ray. But then, of course, a couple of years later, we have season 22. So we're still waiting for season 21 to come out with basically the twin dilemma. So that way we can have all of Colin Baker's stories complete on Blu-ray, as well as Peter Davison's and Sylvester McCoy's. Because in October we do have season 25 coming out, which I am looking forward to doing my unboxing video. And of course, for future unboxing videos, you're going to see it, them on this stall. So basically you won't see my face, but you'll just see them on my little uh, stall where I will be doing the unboxing videos from now on. So I'm literally going to show you the difference between these two. So let's just put the limited edition aside for the moment. So taking the actual limited edition out of the J card. So of course, this is the J card, Doctor Who Action Season 22. That's the side. That's the side. And of course, that's all the information you get on the back. And then, of course, you have the clear artwork by Lee Beinig. I absolutely love this artwork artwork i actually do have this in a poster it's actually on the wall at the moment in a picture frame and i absolutely love season 22 because i love the whole title sequence at the back of colin the star field effects when we get it from the 80s i love the whole blue type nebula here i love the fact we've got stike we got seal the irani the master sab leader we've got the borad and a glass dalek from revelation of the daleks and of course, Colin Baker looks absolutely brilliant in his season 22 outfit. I do love the season 23 outfit with the red polka dot cravat. So, of course, on the side, you've got the Time Vortex again. And of course, you've got basically the tar the, the cabinet version of the TARDIS because the Doctor does fix the chameleon circuit in this season only for one story before it gets back to being the police box we know and love. On the side, we have Doctor the Collection season 22. Then, of course, opening it up, so, of course, you have this fantastic imagery from Revelation of the Dark. So, we are on the planet Necros. You've got Nicola Bryant. You've got Colin Baker as Perry and the Doctor. You've got a fantastic TARDIS. I love the snow effect and how good it looks in the winter. I absolutely love the fact how this is more like snow. Then, of course, opening it up, we have the two Doctors effect going on with Commander St Stike and his basically lieutenant in that story with the tire stores open you actually see the 1980s console room at the back a bit like you see it in modern who basically from 2005 for the main console room so you, that's actually pretty cool and of course two santarans and perry and i love the actual whole 80s vibe in that opening it up of course you have the booklet so i will show you the difference between the two booklets as well a bit later on so opening it up, you have the actual TARDIS console room that we see in Attack of the Cybermen. And of course, you've got a Cyberman standing at the doorway and the comment. And then, of course, you've got the TARDIS doors. And then, of course, closing that, I mean, you know, 
if you watch all my other videos about these, you know that I love the limited editions more than the standard, but it's actually quite nice to have both. So, of course, if I literally just pull that to one side of me. So, of course, we have Attack of the Cybermen. Disc 2, Ventures on Varos. Disc 3, Ventures on Varos. I love how we've still got the Time Vortex going on. We have Syl and basically the Governor from Varos. Mark of the Irani with the Master and the Irani. And this is the very first appearance of the Irani. At the back, we have Disc 1, aka, well, it's actually Disc 5, but it is the first disc to contain the two Doctors, followed by Disc 6, aka Disc 2, for the two Doctors. And it's actually quite nice to have a Blu ray disc with Patrick Triton on it, as this was actually Patrick Triton's last ever appearance in Doctor Who before he's untimely death two years after the story was broadcast. Then, of course, we have, as you all know, the, the uh, twin dilemma. Uh, the time lash needs said twin dilemma there. And of course we have Revelation of the Daleks. And then is that the last disc. Yeah, and then of course we have the last disc, which is basically Revelation of the Daleks. So the only move that you have fantastic Colleen Baker's face and the disc tray behind the disc tray. I absolutely love the fact how they got the title sequence for each of these doctors. Cannot wait to see the Patrick Troughton one, and I definitely cannot wait to see um the rest of what they're going to do for season 21. Are they going to do Peter Davison's face? Or are they going to half it between half Peter and half Colin? I'd be actually quite interested. In. And then, of course, that is basically the limited edition for season 22. And then I'm literally going to put it back on the J card. And I'm going to move it to it on the shelf for a minute. So, of course, you can see I have rearranged my DVDs now. So, they are basically start down here. So here is the standard edition what you get. So basically where well, it's just a J card, you just get a cardboard sleeve. So you can actually slide it out. So this is all the information you get on the on the slip on the sleeve. So basically it's what you get on the J card. So like extended versions for Ventures of Varus Pots 1 and 2, the two doctors. The two doctors and of the Daleks, and of course behind the sofa and making documentaries. So we do get all them. Moving out to the other side. So of course we have Doctor Who. The fantastic artwork by Lee Binding. Again I will probably show you the picture frame. A little bit after I've done this video. Then of course you've got. The Borad Glass Dalek Strike. We've got Sill. But I actually love the limited edition. Because it's more bigger and more visual. On the actual limited edition. Than it is on the standard one. But. I have to be honest with you, I absolutely do love the artworks though. And of course, you've got the TARDIS at the back. At the back. And then, of course, opening it up. So, of course, you've got the booklet, which I will show you the difference between the two. Then, of course, as you can see, we have Attack of the Sermon, Ventures on Varos. The Mar Ventures on Varos again, Mark of the Irani, the Two Doctors, Disc 1, aka Disc 5. So, it's actually quite nice how you've got the two Doctors back to back here on this disc tray. Then, of course, you've got Time Lash and then Revelation of the Daleks. And then, of course, opening it off, you have the actual fantastic shot of the Titus console room that we have where it stains the booklet. And I absolutely do love the fact this does contain the, the actual console room itself. But I do miss having the Doctor's face at the back, at the back of the disc tray. So then, of course showing you the actual difference between the booklet so this big one is from the limited edition and of course this one is from the standard edition so i'm going to show you basically what you get in the limited edition of course you have a nice picture of colin on death Starry's fantastic library and um, on, on his desk change my dear welcome to season 22 and of course you have the information about season 22 which is absolutely brilliant then, of course, you've got this fantastic two-page of Attack of the Cybermen. And that, it also tells you everything that you've got, like audio, commentary, um, 5.1 surround sound. It also has updated special effects that you get on the DVD as well for this story, which is absolutely brilliant. I think this one has updated effects. I think it does. I remember watching it, and I think it did have updated effects from the DVD version. And then, of course, flapping it over, you've got that fantastic shot between Litten being converted, Cryon, 
Perry and the cyber leader with the doctor shooting and of course the cyber control at the back of him. And then of course you've got that fantastic shot from the planet Terros. Then of course you have that and then of course the two discs for Ventures and Varus including the Colin Baker years documentary that is on VHS and I do own that. And of course you have more stuff as well like extended episodes, development of the story, a fantastic artwork for the story itself. Then of course you've got more information about the story that i love the fact you get this so much information in the limited edition ones which is just absolutely brilliant and then of course you've got mark of the irani and kate omara there in disguise then of course that fantastic painting or picture from the story george stevenson's uh luke aka luke his helper then of course you've got that fantastic imagery that we can get on the internet then of course this five and six is basically the two doctors but of course disc six is just the extended part one version which is honestly one of the best things about the set then of course you got that fantastic artwork if i could actually have this in a picture frame i would love it so much because you got two tardises you got the two doctors and if you zoom in if i can show you you got the santaran ships at the bottom of the tardises then of course you got jamie and perry but i absolutely love that artwork then, of course, you got that fantastic shot of the two Doctors, like Patrick Troughton and Colin Baker. And then, of course, we have the woman from Blake 7, who has also done quite a few big finishes with the 8th and War Doctors. Jacqueline Pierce, that's her name, Jacqueline Pierce. Patrick Troughton as an Andrew Gum to the two Santarans. Then, of course, we have Time Lash. And then, of course, you've got a whole artwork for Time Lash. I am the Borad, and you have betrayed me. Ah! You know, that in that story. Time Lash is not a really in enjoyable story, but I do love it with updated effects. And, of course, my third favourite story of the season, Revelation of the Daleks. So, we're on the planet Necros. So, we've got two versions. This one does have updated special effects that was released on the DVD. And, of course, it's just absolutely brilliant. And, of course, it also contains the Children We Need 1985 the Breakfast Time Exhibit, Breakfast Time John Nathan Turner, and that's many it. And then, of course, you got that fantastic pay artwork of the Glass Dalek and Colin Baker. And then, of course, so it looks like Nicholas Briggs, but it's not actually Nicholas Briggs. And then, of course, you got Terry Loy's Davros. And that's many it what you get then. And of course, you got that fantastic picture of Colin. So that's basically what you get in the limited edition one. And then, of course, the standard edition is so much smaller. Literally comparing it in size, as you can see, yeah, it's small. It's way small. So you don't have all the information that you get in this one. By opening it up, you still get some of, of the artwork. So you've got Attack of the Cybermen. Actually, no, that's a bigger picture of it. Wow. Wow. Okay. I love that big picture. I love that artwork. I love that big picture of that shot. I really do love it. Vengeance on Varos, Mark of the Irani, the two Doctors. It's actually quite nice that they do have some of the little artwork designs, but you don't have a lot of information about the stories. Time Lash, and basically Revelation of the Daleks, and then of course Colin. So that's basically what you get in the limited edition and the standard edition. So you're probably wondering, what am I going to say is my favourite for season 22? After all, for seasons... 8, 10, 17, 19, 20, 7, uh, 26, and 24, the limited editions have win for me. So what wins this one? Is it AKA the standard or the limited edition? Well, I'm going to say this. My favourite release on Blu-ray for season 22 is basically the limited edition. Just because I love the fact that the buckler is inside the flap of the TARDIS and it opens up and you've got the actual TARDIS console room. And my favourite feature about these sets is, of course, having the Doctor's face at the back, at the back of the title sequence. I always love that. I always love the fact how that's basically been a thing going on since the very first release, for, and that was, of course, season 12. But I am grateful to actually have both versions. I mean, collecting both versions, I mean... Getting the limited editions and then coming back a couple of years later and go, yeah, you know what, I'm I'm going to get the limited edition. Now, as I said before, the limited editions, I wasn't really interested in, but I was getting sent season 19 as a fan mail. And I didn't really want it to be the only one on the shelf. So I just, I've decided just to collect them. So basically, it's not the only one on the shelf. And 
is it a good decision I made? Well, yeah, I think it is. It means I get to look after these babies so much more than I can actually watch these ones more. So these ones don't get damaged or get any more, well, get damaged at all. And the discs don't get scratched or whatever, where I can just literally watch the, the standard edition so much times and it doesn't matter to me. I have watched this one plenty of times, though, since basically it came out in 2022. And we are in 2024 and that literally just came out back in June. So we are literally, as I said before, so the limited editions are two years ahead of the standard editions. But it doesn't make no difference. It makes no matter to me. It's absolutely brilliant. I think next year we probably will get season uh, 15 and, of course, season 25 in two years' time. So next year's standard release, we should have season two um, some point this year. I think around about November, December, we might be getting the standard release of season two. And then next year, it'll be season nine and season 20 on the standard release, where next year's release for the actual collection set, basically for Doctor Who, we could probably be having season six by now, or hopefully in March, April, or mainly February, March, we do get season six next after season 25, because I absolutely do love season six. It's my favourite Troughton season. So, yeah, this is basically what wins for me is, of course, the stand limited edition. The limited edition does win for me, but the standard editions are pretty cool. I mean, you get to have the artwork so if i actually wanted to i don't really need to have the jake the actual cards i could literally just display these on the on the shelf in the actual blu-ray cases looking pretty cool and decent and the artwork so i could always have that and have the artwork facing so i could always do it like that way but yeah i absolutely love the limited editions the limited editions are the best thing about doctor who the collection range i love the limited editions i do like the standard ones as well but having a two-year wait between the limited edition and then of course this box set now for those who do not know, Season 22 is still available on Amazon.co.uk and, of course, it is available in HMV. I've been to two of my HMV stores over the last month and, of course, they still have Season 22, the limited edition, for basically 50, 54 99 So you can still get the limited edition in HMV. So it's obviously they're not sold out of the limited edition or you can get the standard edition. So well, it's up to you, whatever one you get. Um, you're not basically, it's just all the same content. It's just a smaller packaging. And of course, this one has so much more uniqueness to it. And I absolutely love the limited edition. So let me know what wins for you. Is it the limited edition? Is it the standard edition? Please do like, subscribe and share. And join me for more awesome Doctor Who content. And hopefully there will be another unboxing video soon. Because it's something I do really want to get. And I'm literally just waiting for me to have the funds for me to go and get it. Because I really do want it in my collection and show you what it looks like. And basically do a closer look of it. So thank you for watching. Please do like, subscribe and share. And join me for more awesome Doctor Who content.